Okay, so this is part two of the official RetroPie and installing pretty much everything I can possibly get into it. So let's switch over to screen capture and start installing all the packages. Okay, so we're going to pick RetroPie and RetroPie setup, manage packages, manage core packages, install all core packages, and yes. So that's all the core packages done, so let's go back and do main packages, install all main packages, and yes. Okay, so that's all done, let's go back, uh, manage optional packages, install all optional packages. Okay, so manage experimental packages, install all experimental packages, and yes. Okay, so last night I spent a lot of time uh, trying to find ROMs for each individual system. So I basically wrote down what folders were there and I tried to download a ROM for each one. Uh, and some of them I got more than one. So 3DO, Amiga, Amstrad CPC, Apple II, Arcade, Arcadia, Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, 800, Jaguar, Lynx, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Tandy, ColecoVision, Dragon 32, Dreamcast, Family Computer System, Game & Watch, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, Thompson, Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, Neo Geo, NES, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Pocket Color, Auric, MS-DOS, PSP, PlayStation, Sam Coupe, Sega Saturn, Sega 32X, Sega CD, SG-1000, Super Nintendo, Vectrex, Video Pack, Virtual Boy, Wonderswan, Wonderswan Color, Sharp 6800, Infocom, and ZX Spectrum. So I figured after this, uh, I'll show some games in a minute, but I figured I'd install uh, a desktop environment into this as well. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. So if we go back to RetroPie, so much stuff in here now. Uh, and then go to RetroPie Setup. Go to Configuration Tools. Go down to Raspbian Tools. And you can see here, install pixel desktop environment. So let's click on that and say yes. OK, so now that says that's installed. So let's click OK. And we'll go back from there. And back. And uh, I guess I'll perform a reboot. I'm not sure if I need to do a reboot, but I'm going to. Are you sure you want to reboot? Yes. So is it going to start up in RetroPie or is it going to start up in the desktop? Okay, so it started up in RetroPie still, which is great. Uh, and let's see if we've got Pixel in the middle of this list somewhere. We haven't. <laughs> I thought it would be there. RetroPie. Yeah, it's definitely not there. Uh, so do I get it from this RetroPie menu? Mm, no, I can't see it there. So if I, well there's, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Let's hit the start button and we'll go quit and quit emulation station, see what happens there. Okay, so that brings us back to this. So let's type in start X and see if that will launch the desktop. Here we go, so we're in. And uh, a good thing about this is it's just a really easy way of managing your ROM. So you can see here on the desktop, I've got my uh, USB stick. I'm using the Arcanite one. I switched over. I can't remember if I said in the other video. I was using that terribly slow one. The Arcanite one is a 128 stick uh, and I was using it for other things but I've literally just put this RetroPie dash mount. Well I copied all the contents of the other USB stick to this one uh, and I've been loading it up with, with ROMs and BIOS files ever since. So if I click on RetroPie mount you can see here I've got BIOS and uh, I got some of these I got from Damaso's build. Uh, so from Arcade Punks, uh, if you download one of the full images, you can go through the BIOS file and you can get everything out of there. But I also have added some in as well. So uh, some of these, I'm not sure which one of these works, uh, but this was one of the Atari ones. 
uh, that was needed and there's a few other BIOSes that I've had to put in but there's also things that I've built up over time so if it's just in the BIOS folder some of them are uh, you can see here but some of them are also like Dreamcast is in DC DC boot and DC flash I think are the two main ones that you need for Dreamcast but uh, I won't go too much through the, the BIOS files but you can find those online obviously uh, so if I go back up and go to ROMs you'll see that if I was just to pick any old folder, I've, I've put stuff in there. So you can see here, and uh, generally I've unzipped things if they've been zipped, but, uh, but most of the things are just as they are. So well, there's nothing in TRS-80. I thought I did find something for that in television. So you can see I pretty much put one ROM in each folder at least. Uh, and I've also got ROMs in uh, the Wii folder and the GameCube folder as well. Uh, I've put uh, Hulk in there. But Wii and Hulk aren't supported on Ratchapi. There is no Dolphin emulator. So that's the good thing about having this Pixel desktop because we can install all sorts of things into this. So uh, I would say the two things that I would definitely install would be PyKiss and Pi Apps uh, because they're going to allow us to put all sorts of things in here. So if I go for PyKiss first, you can see here. So if we scroll down, there is a little bit that we can copy and paste into terminal. Here we are. And that will install PyKiss, which is excellent to have. Again, this this I'm going to concentrate on this being a gaming system, so all about having the maximum amount of games possible to play on it for a Pi. There you go, so that is already there. So if I was to go here and system tools, you can see PyKiss is there. What's great about this is there's also more emulation here. And let's just do one of these. We'll do emulation, uh, install emulators, and we'll install, I don't know why I'm getting a funny, it's a funny resolution on here at the moment. I'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, there's Dolphin. Uh, so let's install that. enter to run the emulator and there you go so uh, but I'm not going to play that now uh, what's weird is I think this is an older version because normally you'd have monitor settings in here uh, and there's no monitor settings in there system taskbar defaults so where are monitor settings in here I can't see a way of changing the resolution so maybe I'll try raspberry config and I wonder if I can do it through that, but then is it going to change it for, whole, for the whole of Retropi? Raspi-config. I need sudo. Raspi-config. Display options. Resolution. Oh, let's go for 720 then. Resolution is set. OK. Finish that. And I would like to reboot. Okay, so this is how it's booted up. So it doesn't seem to want to run in 720. So I'm going to do Alt F4 and hopefully, yeah, that comes back to that. So I'm going to need to do sudo raspi config again. And uh, I'm going to have to change those display options back. I, don't know, I wonder why that is. I have tried that on another um, thing of RetroPie to try and get the operating system to run at a lower resolution. And it didn't work on that either. So let's go back up to 1080 and OK, and then finish and reboot. OK, same thing's happened again, so I think I've messed up emulation station. Uh, so I'll do Alt and F4 again. And uh, this time I'll type in emulation station. Just see if that works. So Alt and F4 again. Doesn't seem to work, does it? Right, so I'm going to launch the desktop again. So now I'm on the desktop, and the desktop is in 1080, because you can tell by how big everything looks. That's very weird. So have I, I've possibly messed it up by changing that resolution, uh, which you wouldn't think would make a difference, would you? Uh, I think I'm going to run an update, uh, and then see if that fixes it. It doesn't, I'll have to reinstall RetroPie again. Luckily, because everything is on this USB stick, uh, it's not kind of not set me back very much apart from having to reflash the operating system. Uh, so another advantage of having your ROMs on a USB that you, you haven't lost everything. So let's do uh, sudo at 
update. Got loads to be upgraded, look. Like. Pseudo apt full dash upgrade. So I say yes, and hopefully this will sort out the issues I'm having. If not, I'll just reflash RetroPie. Okay, so that's all updated, so let's just reboot that and uh, cross our fingers. Nope, still the same. Uh, so Alt F4. Let's try emulation station from that. Nope. Okay, so I can't see anything in there. So I think what I'm going to do is just reinstall uh, RetroPie and do the same steps that I've done before to get us back to this point, but I'm not going to mess about with the resolution. Okay, so I've done a reinstall of RetroPie, uh, but obviously I haven't got all the updates, uh, so it's not going to play uh, all of the systems don't show up. For, so for instance, Amiga doesn't show up because you need to add that. So I'm going to add all of that, but I'm going to do all that off camera because I've already gone through that setup. So I'll get it back to that point where I've got the uh, Dolphin emulator. I've got all of the uh, options installed into RetroPie, all of the experimental, the optional, all of the, every system that I can possibly get. But I did say I play a game. So let's just try any old Atari one. So let's try Atari 2600. So I'll get Pitfall just to show that it's working. This would have been one of the ones that needed a BIOS file. Uh, and so I haven't done any other configuration to that. Oh, you can see it works fine. Look. This is quite hard, this one. Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> Just hide down here. And he's up. I'll take that. I did find before that jumping off, yeah, it doesn't jump off for some reason. I'm sure it would be just the ordinary jump button. Oh, skills. Oh, I thought they were just about to close. <laughs> Terrible at this. Oh, you can. Oh, so you can stand on them while whilst their mouths are open. Okay, so let's quit out of that. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. But uh, when I go back in the next video, I'll have it all set up and have the Pixel desktop, but I won't have changed the resolution. All right, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.